This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello, there, hello, there. Chef Carter, I'm welcoming you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. Uh, there will be no on this day for uh, May the 7th today. But anyway, on May 7th, this man who's still alive, he's a former linebacker and an analyst who actually was in the N NFL as head coach for 15 years with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's 65 years old today, so he's a Canadian senior citizen, if you will. He was an assistant under Marty Schottenheimer and was a defensive coordinator for a while and then was named head coach of the Steelers in 1992, which he helped lead to until his retirement following the 2006 season. So he's now a studio analyst for the NFL today. I'm adapted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2020. So, Cower, so Bill Cower was a starting linebacker for NC State. And got a bachelor's degree in education, so he would actually start his career as the with the Philadelphia Eagles. He was undrafted, but the Eagles had something, so he spent one year with them and became a linebacker for the Cleveland Browns from 1980 to 82. He was part of the Cardiac Kids, the team that basically came out of nowhere every time, if you will. But couldn't do it against the Raiders at home in the divisional round. Anyway, he was traded back to Philadelphia. He played two years with them. However, as an Eagle, he actually tackled a young Jeff Foss, or Jeff Fisher, you know, the former head coach of Tennessee and St. Louis, playing against the Bears, which Fisher was a part of. Fisher broke his leg. But they would become rival head coaches and friends in the AFC Central Division. Fisher, Jeff Fisher said Cowers, Cowers giving him the injury actually had the unintended consequence of propelling, propelling him into coaching. Cowers basically a special teams guy. I know that. Cowers retired and became a coach in, at age 28 under Marty Schottenheimer with the Browns. So anyway, he was the special teams coach in 86, and then in 88, he was the secondary coach. But he became defensive coordinator of the Chiefs when Sean Heimer got canned by the Browns and went to Kansas City. He almost became the Bengals head coach in 91, following Sam Weish's firing. But he was passed over by Dave Shula because Bengals owner Mike Brown saw similarities with himself and Shula in the manner that their respective fathers overshadowed them in many aspects. Of course, Mike Brown was the son of Paul Brown, the legendary man who helped Cleveland out and got Cincinnati into the NFL. And also the fact that Dave Shula was Don's son, and you know, Don Shula is a legend. However, he wouldn't be without a job for long as Pittsburgh decided to take a, uh, take a note from him. He became the 15th head coach in Steelers history. But the second since 1970, as Chuck Noll would retire and all that. Dave Wonstadt almost was there. You know, he was a Pittsburgh native and a Pitt alumnus, but Wonstadt did not get it, so it was Cower. Wonstadt would become the Bears head coach the next year. Pittsburgh went from 7-9 to 11-5 and, and actually doing quite well in the AFC. In 95, when he was 38, he became the youngest coach to lead his team to the Super Bowl at the time, I think. Because I know for a fact that Sean McVay has taken his team in, and he was he's younger than I am. So anyway, Cower became the second coach in NFL history to lead his team to the playoffs in each of his first six seasons as a head coach, joining, ironically enough, Paul Brown. Take that, Mike. Anyway, in 15 years with the Steelers as head coach, the Steelers got eight division titles, 10 postseason berths, 21, playing in 21 playoff games, six AFC title games, but only winning two of them. A couple of those losses were at the hands of me, favorite team, the, the Patriots. In his two Super Bowl appearances, well, he lost Super Bowl 30 to the Dallas Cowboys, thanks to Larry Brown just having Neil Donald's number, and he won Super Bowl 40 in Detroit against the Seahawks, helping Jerome Bettis retire as 
a player, retire on top and all that. Anyway, so yeah, Coward did it. Coward did not, well, he won the Super Bowl, but he did not retire that year, unlike Bettis. He played one more year, and then he decided to retire. Coward's team, this is one of the craziest stats. Bill Gower, during the year, over the years, compiled a record of 108, 1 and 1, when they led by 11 points. So basically, in 110 games, Pittsburgh won 108 of them, holding a lead by at least 11 points, with one loss and one tie. Unbelievable. That's a crazy stat. Anyway, Coward would resign January 2007. With 161 wins, 99 losses, and a tie, including the playoffs. He was succeeded by Mike Tomlin, who still is coaching the Steelers to this day. That's amazing how Pittsburgh would have three coaches since 1969. In a span of 53 years, they've only had three coaches. Noel, Cower, and Tomlin. So, a month after he retired, he would sign on to be part of CBS's NFL Today stuff as studio analyst, joining the great Dan Marino, Shannon Sharp, and Boomer and Siasen. Anyway. It's amazing what he does and all that. So yeah. He has a good coaching tree. Assistant coaches under Cower that became coaches in NFL Sasha and like Don Capers for Carolina and Houston. Chan Gailey, when he went to Dallas, Georgia Tech, and Buffalo. Jim Hazlitt, who was from New Orleans and the Rams. Dick LeBeau for Cincy. Marvin Lewis for Cincy. Mike Bularkey, Buffalo, Jacksonville, Tennessee. Ken Wilson Hunt, Arizona, Tennessee. Bruce Arians, Indy, Arizona, Tampa. And that's it. So, anyway. Kyra's late wife also went to NC State alongside Bill. And would actually, and Kay would actually play professional basketball for the New York Stars of the Women's Pro League in the 1980s. Unfortunately, she died at age 54 from skin cancer, having three daughters. All that. Two of the daughters played basketball at Princeton and one at Wolfert, for going to Elon. Cower would marry someone else in 2014. And Cower is on the cover of EA Sports' 2006 game NFL head coach. All that. So, yeah, NFL head coach, I think, was kind of a awkward uh, game and all that. I didn't really like it. So Cowers, I said, <clears throat> 149 wins as a Pittsburgh head coach from 1992 to 2006. 12-9 in the playoffs, including Super Bowl title in 2005. Dash 06. say that. So yeah, Bill Cower was basically big. He was Pelican Jaw. You know, that that jaw line was really noticeable and all that. He would be known for his summons. Rush the quarterback. Hit the quarterback. That's what Bill Cower did. And that's why Pittsburgh was very successful. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.